Welcome to another round of sports views. Tonight we're reviewing Toronto FC 2, Columbus Crew 0. Toronto FC wins! It feels so good to do that. 2 0, first win of the season, MLS wise. Four points on the season. We can calm down a little bit. I'm not saying calm down completely, but we can calm down a little bit. The goals are scored as follows. In the 13th minute, Michael Bradley off the corner, takes a shot, rebound pops back. He runs straight to it, into the far post, shoots it into the far post, past Eloy Room to make it 1-0. That's the way we go into half. And then in the 87th minute, off the corner kick, or free kick, Omar Gonzalez, Heads it forward. Josie out the doors right there. Probably would have fell in even if Josie didn't head it on the doorstep. But he heads it in on the doorstep. Gets his first of the season to make it 2-0. That's the way it would end tonight. And thank God it did. They held on. They fought hard. They did everything right tonight. I'm so proud of this team. No questions asked whatsoever. They rebounded. I'm so proud of them. They did everything right. The stats were as follows. 12 shots to 10. 12, 4 shots on target to 3. 52% possession to 48% possession. 469 passes to 441 passes. 86% pass accuracy on both sides. 9 fouls to 12. 3 yellow cards to 2. 0 red cards to 0, even though Columbus should have had one late on. That Jonathan Mensa tackle was just not right. Yeah, that was just not right. On Josie. Josie got taken at... Was it... It was Mullins. No, it was... The, the late tackle was dirty. Yeah, it was Mullins. He was taken out just hard. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Like, he just slid in. No ball taken late. That's a red. That looked horrible. But it's zero red cards on either side. One offside to zero. Six corners to four. And there were also two other chances that Toronto could have made this for... Jefferson Soteldo missed a sitter in the 26th minute. Went off the foot of Saad Abdul Salam. He was sliding in to stop that from being scored. And in the 75th minute, Josie Altidore hit the crossbar. And then, there you go. It should have been four. This team actually was a lot, was better tonight. This team worked hard tonight. They knew they needed to work hard. Now, Bono didn't have a great game he had a good game. I'm not saying it was bad. He had a good game. Good game. Now that yellow for dog so was pretty stupid. Sliding to get the ball. That was pretty stupid. Luis Diaz probably would have missed it anyway. He always puts everything over the bar. But for me, that was a bit stupid. Could have been a little bit more careful. The defense was great. Mavinga and Gonzalez were great together. Lorea and Alro were great on the back the outside back roll Kamar Lawrence played a good game as a sub I thought he looked great as a sub this team is starting to get back to where they should be I hate to say it it's early I know it's early and it's only one win their first league win of the season and they were playing a team like Leon who wants to play out of the back which made it a lot easier for TFC to defend and keep the ball in front not many teams in MLS do that and it was a coach who's even more stubborn than Armis. But I do think this team has learned how to... They were a little bit more pragmatic tonight. I don't know if you noticed it, but I think I noticed it. TFC was a lot more pragmatic tonight, I thought. They did what they had to do. They didn't really stick to the press the whole time. If they could get the ball, they got the ball. If they needed to defend, they defended. I thought it was a lot more pragmatic tonight. For me, I thought it was a lot more pragmatic. I thought it was a lot more double-edged. Even though they were playing a team who builds out of the back like Leon, which made them look better than a team who was playing over the top. They won their duels better. They kept possession better. Marky Delgado wasn't a, wasn't a utter sieve. Mark Delgado wasn't an utter sieve for, for possession. It's hard to call him Mark. It really is. I'm, I'm still not used to it. I don't think anybody's used to it. But he's not an utter sieve like he was against Red Bulls. Toronto played well against a pretty strong Columbus team. I cannot fault them. This was great. 
This was absolutely great. They did everything that they needed to do to win this game. They wanted to win this game. They didn't come out flat. They came out strong. And from the first 20 minutes, I'm like, you know what? They may could, they may could be able to do this. Because they fought harder than anything for me. They did everything right. They wanted to bounce back. They did. They bounced back. That is what you want to see from a team like Toronto. They need to go forward. They need to bounce forward. They need to push forward. And they found ways to win. That may not be the exact way that Armis wants, but as long as you win, who really cares? Who really cares? The seat is not as hot after this performance. He lowered the temperature of his seat. Is it still hot? Yes. But is it warm? Yes. Point is, is his ass isn't burning right now. It's just warm. It's like sitting in a nice leather chair at a movie theater and you just want to be warm, like, in the bottom regions. The back and the, you know, you know what it is. Like that. So... The seat is warm. He's turned it down a little bit. Now, is he absolved? No. But if he keeps on playing the team the way he played them today, I think it's better for him. They need to be pragmatic. They cannot go all out, which is the fault of the last couple of games. You can't go all out, especially against teams who will play over the top, try to win duels, the duels that they had, Toronto did win. But it wasn't as far-reaching as the last couple of games. Now, with that said to me, with that said, Bono still needs to not get another start. He had an okay game, and he actually got a clean sheet. Let's, let's actually say that. That's his first clean sheet of the season. But is it because of the team that he played against? Yes. Is it If they had played a team who played over the top and played long balls, would they have screwed up? Yes. Now, they kept the ball in front. I'm not complaining, but there are still warning signs, but they're being pragmatic. Now, the question is, will they take this into New York? Now, New York is more of a hybrid. They don't play that many long balls, but they really don't build out of the back, but they're more offensive. Could they get a win there, going away to Yankee Stadium? Maybe. Now the question is, can Toronto have this same type of performance? That's the question. I hope they do. I hope they stay pragmatic. I hope they stay smart. I hope they keep on doing amazing things, and this bad stretch is a figment of our, figment of our imagination at this point. Now, will it be? I don't know. But can we push it to being a figment of our imagination and just a goodbye and push it to the side? Maybe, and I think we can. But we have to keep on playing the way we played tonight. That's my thought. We have to play the way we played tonight. That was great. I'm proud of this team, the way they played tonight. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for consistent, strong performances. That's a building block to build on. So for me, I'm happy with this game. I thought Toronto played well. They did everything right against Columbus. Columbus, I'm not saying they came out flat. They played okay. But they weren't horrible. Columbus was good. They just got stubborn by their manager, which I know all about, which we all know all about. But... It is what it is. You know that's coming if you got Caleb Porter. But I'm not saying Columbus was horrible. They played a good game too. And Toronto was just the better team tonight. They were better overall. And I'm surprised I'm saying that. But they were better overall. Toronto was the better team. It is, it is what it is. They were the better team. They are the better team tonight. Toronto deserved to win this game. They beat the defending MLS Cup champions. My man of the match tonight is Jefferson Soteldo. He played amazing. He got an assist on the corner. I th well, at least the secondary. Maybe not the primary, but he got the secondary setting it up. Amazing corner. Almost scored a goal. Had another amazing corner. Two, actually, that got could have been more as well. Jefferson was great tonight. He was amazing. He's man of the match. This is what we bought him for, frankly. 
and it was a great performance by Jefferson Sattel, though. Didn't really light up the score sheet, but he had a chance to do it, frankly. But he played an amazing match. He was on for about 70 minutes. Got replaced by Kamar Lawrence, who also had a good performance. Can't complain about it. I'm, I'm happy with that. But Soteldo's man of the match for me, so there you go. With that said, I think I said all I wanted to about this match. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Saturday, I have a Toronto vs. NYCFC live stream and RSR. Surprisingly, even though I say I may not do lives, I still do them. So there you go. We're going to keep on going because I could fit them in. So you know what? There you go. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Let's go. Take your time with it.